Welcome back to Age of Empires 4. King John's poor stewardship of England sparked invasion to overthrow his fragile rule. The rebellion. At Wallingford, in the shadow of the castle, Matilda's faction, commanded by her son Henry, proved it was still willing to fight King Stephen for the crown. But after 15 years of conflict, both sides had had enough. So, they made a deal. Matilda would surrender her claim to the throne on condition that when Stephen died, her eldest living son, Henry, would succeed him. A year later, he was crowned King Henry II and proceeded to grow the kingdom into the mighty Angevin Empire. But, once again, what the king had spent his life building his own children were destined to destroy. King Henry II had four surviving legitimate sons, and he planned to divide up his kingdom between them. But they fought bitterly for dominance. Against the odds, Henry's youngest son, John, became king. But King John was deeply unpopular. He lost huge swathes of the Angevin Empire gained by his father, then failed to reclaim them in expensive battles. Paid for by taxing his subjects. Eventually, England's barons could take it no more. They forced John to agree to a charter that restricted his power. The Magna Carta. But he went against his word. Furious, they rebelled, inviting Prince Louis of France to invade England. In 1216, Louis sailed to Dover and set his sights on taking this. Dover Castle. Held by forces loyal to King John, it was commanded by Hubert de Burr. He described the castle as the key to England. He was right. If it fell to the French, so would the kingdom. The Siege of Dover. Well... You know you are a horrible king when your own barons invade the foreign king of the French to invade England. Let's just say the English hated the French a great deal in this particular period. Oh, but they were friends and all that kind of stuff. Eh, yeah, I suppose some of the nobility, but anyway. King John had angered the English barons. In full revolt, they invited the French to invade and take advantage of his weakness. One key fortification stood in their way. The castle at Dover. So from Richard the Lionheart, one of the greatest military minds of the Middle Ages, we get John. Let's just say, yeah. It's a shame Richard died. Like, uh, if he had survived, things would have been um, very interesting, let's say. The Siege of Dover. Asked to invade by the rebel barons, Prince Louis's French army launched an assault on the castle at Dover. We're not going to hold our outer walls. That's... Opening a crack in the outer defenses, the invading forces charged the castle walls. They're not going to take the those walls. The garrison at Dover would meet the French with clenched fists and an iron will. Dover could not fall. Okay. Commander Hubert de Burr rallied his men to hold back the French and defend the castle. Well, we have a few problems, as you can notice here. So we have some stone piles. That's not the problem. Uh, we have some workers. But the problem is we have no wood. Um... Build and 
we can get the lumber camp there, that's not too much gonna be too much of an issue. Let's get the spring old. Back right behind the walls. What need a fay of dog? It kill happy that he build in a knob. Yare to dump some work. We're gonna get away. While the castle's garrison thwarted okay. the first French attack and prepared for a second, a new yeah. resistance force was building in the English countryside. A skilled bowman and fierce patriot, known as Willikin of the Weald, began to muster a resistance to the French invasion. Determined to keep the crown in King John's hands, Willikin would rally every available archer to the cause. Okay, prepare. We have 10 minutes. What needeth be undone? Del Bende is me ton folk arny ready. Aye, it kill happy that he's building an arm. Hark at it all. All right, we have 10 minutes. Every chance, and paint it. All right, let's get some archer recruits. Now, the benefit, if you will, is we'll be able to get more keeps. With his bowmen assembled, Willikin planned to ambush the French siege engines on their way to the enemy camp. You call that assembling. All right, Willikin. Need 
Pierre, Hesteria, Brante, Arway men. Pierre has rest ever to hit Arway men. Up man, fair and Arway men. All right, Wilkin. Uh, do I really not have any archery range? Okay. Hestes and on, Bowman. Step up to it, Arwayman. Up man, better, Arwayman. I'm sweet, sir. Yes. Where the shit? They can't forend they knew. Hey, the Hestes knew. What name is beyond God? Boa is Hestes and on, Bowman! Hestes and on, Bowman! What need a seat to Hestes? Seat to Hestes. Alright, they should be fine. Now, when uh, they run out of... Okay. Willikin's resistance force continued to grow. Adding more skilled men to its ranks. Alright, Willikin's uh, force. They can't. Damn. All right, they're gonna set up. What will virtue guide us, me wife? Yeah, money and the Hestas! Shadima! Boa is the boon! Yahweh, Shep, Hestas, come at our way, man! Step at two head, our way, man! Shep! Boa, Skrende, or so I said! Okay. Yeah, 
Asteriath, here, Hestus. It can do. I'll sweep, sir. Yes. All right. Uh, just gonna save because we have the attack incoming in like one minute. Okay. Arita, what needs? Arita, what needs? See fate a worker. What needeth? Begberende su ahead. Yare to don some work. What need if ham on Minwaya? If he'll have that to see they to work. He can be see they to work. This shoe, it he'll be what they will do that. No, he can have a see they all stay safe to haste off to the Felders. God swinker and be made see they to work. Yare to ham on Minwaya. He'll pass on the stop. Swing around, be made. The shoe do they make? Hence, this cometh our way, man. All right, let's see if we can find some gold. All right, the French are attacking the again. The French launched a renewed attack on the castle. But thanks to Willikin's ambush force, the enemy had been greatly weakened. With Willikin's archers weakening the siege from outside the castle, the garrison at Dover repelled the French attack. Willikin ordered his archers to resume their strikes on the French reinforcements. Okay. So we are gonna face another attack. It's in
<laughs> Those are some pretty large arrows. Alright, that's a relic over there, actually. Can we claim it, maybe? What needeth be on midway? Fresh air. See, see, here end day seen Hester. Build end day that free to noon. Here at Hester's, it can do. Step it to it, Arway Man. I will. All right, so they are uh, heading over there. I mean, past the initial attack, this mission seems pretty damn easy. Could we even... Can't afford to lose him. The castle holds. Fall back over here with these guys. See the irrendate in Hester. Okay, we're gonna need some stone. Okay, some units got through my barricade over there, but that's uh, not too big of an issue. Right, so we got military academy upgrade. Some French reinforcements made it to their siege camp, adding more numbers to their next attack on the castle. Yes, 
Bizim şeytan de yok. Niye her yerde eskiz mi? Eskiriye! Rabbe harbeyler! Okay. See they to work. I think they listen. You go. Yeah, Hestas. I'll sweep them. Yes. The attack is gonna be happening soon enough. Alright. Whoa! Run! <laughs> We don't have the military might to deal with that. the third keep <laughs> if I have the space for it what needeth beyond dot Marita what needeth worker it kill have what the hell we lost dress it you are we men see that's come at our way men All right, another attack on the city. Willikens archers had decimated the French reinforcements. But undeterred, the French mustered what troops they could and launched another attack on the castle. A victory. The hardy English garrison held fast, refusing to let the castle fall to the French invaders. Willikin rallied his archers to continue strikes on the weakening French. I feel that relic. Oh. The reinforcements, you say. Tell you what. <laughs> the difficulty curve for some of these missions is insane. Oh, that's not even a relic. That's just a damn treasure chest. Need a fail, don't you? Yara, on to a marker. 
those palings up. gonna break that camp on your own. Not yet, anyway. Uh, north there. The final attack will be uh, on its way soon. Three minutes. Hestes come on the botas. I mean, I'm pretty sure at this stage I could just withstand the attack. Get some lumber cans. the last of their uh, tax 
Pirates there. Well, what shall he do? Let's see if we can draw these guys in. I'd slaughter the whole lot of them. Heal them up a bit. It's not a lot. Or something, though. That's a destroyed trebuchet right there. Maybe we had some uh, cavalry. What needeth be on what need is beyond done? She needs to work her. Yare to done some worker. Tulkema away. What will thou reach? Alright, so those men at arms will hold the line. In. Frek on the photo spera. Okay. No, uh. No reinforcements for the Frenchies. Glidande ne hurt us, no, never die. Suez, they had to. The combined grit of the English garrison and Willikin's surprise attacks ensured that Dover hadn't fallen yet. Now the English prepared to repel the final French assault. Yeah, that was not going to happen. They're just slaughtering themselves, throwing themselves against those stone walls. French siege is broken. Do we counter attack or that's it? That's it. The tenacity of Hubert de Burr's loyal soldiers forced Prince Louis and the rebel barons to abandon their siege at Dover. And thanks to the efforts of Willikin's fearless archers, England remained in King John's hands.
Rising high above the Overs White Cliff stands one of England's largest castles. First built by William the Conqueror to prevent another invasion, it defended England for its century. So, hey, he invaded there, and it's like, oh, I'm going to stop another invasion from ever happening again. Every part of its construction, from its soaring watchtowers, its over hanging firing platforms, its reinforced keep, deep ditches, and concentric walls was designed to impress, impose, and stand strong. Built, uh, but in 1216, Dover held back the French siege due to more than just its construction. The castle's commander, Hubert de Burr, inspired a die-hard English resistance in the face of a full French invasion. His men defended the fortress uh, and their king with unwavering determination. De Burr described the castle as the key to England, and thanks to its design and tenacity of its garrison, it remained firmly locked. All right. Let's see the next mission. One more, and then the campaign. No, two more. Okay. That seems... <laughs> Why is Dover 1216 and Rochester 12... Whatever, right? Okay. King John clung to the throne, but the cost would be a bloody battle against his own people. Yeah, King John. Giant asshole, what can I say? What can I say? Go see you in your signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications.